Thanks for joining us online. I'm meteorologist Casey Laheka. Here's some big setup that we're seeing over the next several days. The cold front moved through, and that's what's allowing this really cold air to move in from the northwest. So for tonight, highs or lows will be topping off into the lower 30s, right around that freezing mark. Very cold and a little bit below average for this time of the year. More cloud coverage moves in for Wednesday. But there is a chance for an isolated shower. I think it's going to be very rare, though, across the region. Time to get out for you on future track into this afternoon. We'll see a little bit more clouds move in compared to what we saw this morning. And then early Wednesday morning, that's when we could see a few flurries off to our west. So I don't think any of those will be into our area. It's going to be very dry across the region. Dew points are very low. And then into Wednesday afternoon, like I said, a stray shower could pop up. But because of the dry air, I don't think many areas will see any rain at all. Just a few more clouds moving through the region. And then Thursday, we clear out. More sunshine moves back in. But the sunshine's really not going to help us warm up at all. Your seven day forecast here's what we're looking at mid 40s through Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'll have some sunshine out there pretty much every day. And then for the weekend ahead, still staying pretty cold on Saturday, but rain moves in on Sunday. And with that, if we get right around the freezing mark, we could see a few flurries, but we'll keep our eye on that over the next couple of days.